I guess it bothers some people that I went to see Peter Rabbit. Well, I've got that movie pass thing, and I could see a different movie every day. So, you know, why not watch some of the more frivolous ones, you know? The one that I want to watch next is, what is it, Three Billboards in Ebbing, Missouri? It looks really good to me. Um, I'm... When I looked it up, I, I kept seeing articles from, like, early last year, like March of last year, and I'm like, what? Um, I don't know whether it's an independent film or whatnot, um, but it looks good, and uh, I think it should be interesting to watch. But uh, that's not why I made this video. Um, that whole situation with that scammy order that I had uh, on Fiverr made me think about something quite a bit and that was someone's right to not do a job in my case it, it could be said it, it's unethical to do that job but if you push it a little further it makes me think about well what about that bakery that bakery that didn't want to make a gay wedding cake. And I'm thinking, well, if they really, really, truly felt it, that it just went against everything in their being to do, you know, I suppose people should have the right to to refuse service in that regard. I mean, there, there's been, there have been signs at a number of places that say, you know, we reserve the right to refuse service for any reason. Um... And I know I've, 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 I'm definitely changing my, my view in that area, but, um, you know, I just had to make the parallel of the, of not wanting to do this sc scammy job. So, yeah, um, should it matter whether it's a religion or whether or not it's just someone's belief that they don't want to do something that they consider unethical I mean I don't know um, but I'm definitely more on the side of the, the bakery now um, so anyway oh I'm just suddenly reminded of uh, conversations I've had on Facebook. And there are people saying that, well, when there's someone that, that is, is anti-gay, and, and, like, and they think about, and they're referencing uh, Chick-fil-A, right? <clears throat> oh, when they're anti-gay, when you give them money, they'll, they're gonna use it to hurt gay people. I said, how? You know, unless they're specifically doing something, can you name some things that they're doing that, that are hurting gay people? And, uh, of course, they, I, that gets ignored and you get blocked by a couple people because, I don't know, uh, people don't know how to make arguments anymore. Um, and I've, I've done my fair share of not being able to make arguments. But I've been, I'm hoping I've been getting better at it. But, you know, I can't remember who, who said this, something, something on this order, but it's just like people have forgotten, you know, people have forgotten how to argue. They can make declarations, they can uh, make pleads, they can, uh, there's, a, there's a number of things that people will do, but, but actually having a reasonable argument um, is not one of them. Um, you know, for me, it's always a work in progress. I mean, that's really the way that it would probably be best if, it, you know, if everyone kind of looked at it that way, but... Now I don't know where I was going, so... But I'm just going to leave it in there. Because I don't want to do one of these edited videos, so blah, 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 blah.